Welcome back to the Force 9 YouTube channel and welcome back to Football Manager 2018 and the Liverpool save and in today's video we will play the first leg of the Carabao Cup semi-final against Chelsea. We may do the second leg but it depends on how much action there is in the January window which is upon us now. If you're enjoying the videos make sure you leave a like down below, leave comments and if you want to see videos as and when there's enough on YouTube do hit that subscribe button and also Face packs and logos have been installed as have the license fixes for the new game and you'll find the links for those down in the description below. The only thing I don't have is the kits and I don't think they're massively important but the faces and the logos are in the game as are the new name fixes so you've got the Champions League and not the Champions Cup. So um, there's a few games that we've got here uh, but the FA Cup game against Arsenal and the Stoke and Newcastle games if we get to them today where I'll just be showing goals and I won't be doing those live but the first leg against Chelsea will be live and the second leg but that might be today and it might be next episode we'll see. Now if you didn't watch last episode go and watch it because it was amazing. We beat United 2-0 and then it was an amazing win against West Ham. We were 2-0 down and we came back to win 3-2 getting a goal back just before the hour and then two goals in the last three minutes of normal time giving us an amazing 3-2 win. So with the January transfer window, there's £11 million in our budget, which means we can get, you know, probably a player with that, although the wage is a bit low, so they might need to shift those around a little bit and try and get a bit more wage budget in there. There's only really one position that I want, and that's a defensive midfielder that is actually defensive. Emre Chan plays there sometimes, and he's a Vegista, or Henderson will play there as a deep line playmaker. We don't really have like a ball winner midfielder or an anchor man or someone like that. Not since we lost at Lucas Leiva to Lazio. He was that sort of player. And now Lucas has, you know, left a void that we don't have that proper defensive stalwart. So that's what I need to buy, I think. Other than that, um, I think it's just looking to sell players. There's a few players that I want to get rid of. Some now, some though might have to wait until the uh, summer because... I feel like we get more for them in the summer. For example, I don't think I'm going to be keeping Coutinho in the summer. I think he might be going because he's been okay, but he's not been our best player. So I think Coutinho might be going in the summer. Bayern are interested in him. I think Barcelona might still be. In fact, let's have a look. Uh, it's just Bayern at the moment. If we get an offer for him for like, I don't know, over 80, I guess, maybe more then I think we might accept. But the players that are going to be going, Adam Lallana is transfer listed. He was wanted by uh, a team in the MLS. I think it was Seattle. But that interest has now died down. He's on the transfer list. He's valued at 46.5. I don't know what sort of asking price we'd want. But we're going to offer him to clubs. Uh, just an unspecified uh, value because I'm not sure how much we'd actually get for him. Other than that, we're going to sell John Flanagan. So we've got, we're going to put him on the transfer list, he is on there. There's some offers have been come in. Burnley offered, I think it was about six million up front and then a bit more, which wasn't really what I was looking for. I want about 10 million for him. Whether we get that or not, we'll see. Um, but uh, Marseille are interested, Hull, Swansea, and a host of teams interested in a loan signing. Again, we'll offer him out. We'll put on a 10 million fee and see if anyone bites for that. Dominic Solanke, I'm going to list for loan because he's not getting used. There are offers in. Let's have a look at these then. So, Atlanta United have made a non-negotiable offer of £10.5 million for Adam Lallana, which is a lot less than his £46.5 million value. I'm going to say that the offer is not good enough. So, what sort of asking price have we been thinking for Lallana? He's valued at that. We're not going to get that for him. There's no way. I'm going to put an asking price of 20 and just see what happens. So, you can see Seattle's interest have come back in. LA Galaxy also interested. Atlanta have made an offer. Offers made for Flanagan here. We're looking at about six, seven million pounds. But these ones are negotiable, so we can try and up these a bit. So uh, Burnley back in again. I think this is yeah, six, seven, five. Not like the wage contribution as well. I don't really want that because that means that we're still going to be paying his wages. So that's not what we want. Hull haven't, and they're offering six million up front. So I think Hull might be the place to go here. Um, let's get a bit of profit percentage and let's up this to uh, let's put that up to 10 and let's see what they say um, they've negotiated right they've gone 625 plus uh, 240k over the next year I'm going to try and push for a bit more so you know we'll, we'll come back to that again in a minute 
But with Klein back to full fitness, uh, with the signing of Johnny and with Alexander Arnold as well, and Joe Gomez able to play as a right back, there's no need for uh, for Flanagan anymore. Okay, so here there's a few players, you know, defensive minor players that we could potentially look at. You can see Eric Dyer at the top there. It's unlikely that we'll get him. Spurs won't sell, I don't think. But we're going to get these guys scouted also. We've got Krichoviak there who's on loan at West Brom at the moment. There's Obiang from West Ham. Uh, Gonlon from uh, Roma used to play for Leon before. Petrovic from Sporting is attracting interest from Porto and Cagliari also a loan deal. Only an asking price of £1 million for this guy. Uh, defensive midfielder can also play as the uh, Segunda Volante. Um, very solid attributes. Acceleration at 11, but that's not all that bad thing. See Rabio there as well. I don't think we'll have enough money to get Rabio as much as I'd like to get him. Sal Negres as well, the uh, Atletico player. Nangolan, Coquelin, uh, Thiago Maia also there. I mean, these guys are good, but are they going to be something we can afford? It, probably not. Because we've only got eight million in the bank, so it might be worth waiting until the summer for something like that. You know, we're playing really, really well. We're top of the table. We're how many points clear? I'll be with fourteen points in the lead at the top. So you know, we could probably wait until the summer. But if we find a bargain, then we could have a look. We also, with January, need to look at Bosman deals as well. Now Sanchez hasn't renewed his contracts. Uh, is he playing for Arsenal? Is he doing well? He's doing really well. 13 goals in 22 appearances. Contract is running out. We won't be able to get him on the Bosman until I think three months before the end of the season. So another club abroad could jump and get him. But you know, I think Man City, I don't know if Man City will be after him or not. Someone just wants him and that is Man City. Oh now this is interesting. Grangzu have made a non-negotiable offer worth an initial 15.75 million for Dayan Lovren. Um, how much did we pay for him again, like a while ago? We paid £20 million. And do you know what? Dan Lovren is just like a, a comedy of errors. He's a calamitous player, but in Football Manager, he's been solid. And, you know, I want a bit more than that for him. I mean, the potential value overall will be over 20 but unless we're getting £20 million here and now, that's not going to be happening. Uh, De Haas being unveiled. So this is Justin De Haas. This is a guy that we signed quite a while ago and he's joined us in this window. From Altmar, 17 years old. Got a bit of potential about him. Got 20 determination, which is always nice. He's a centre-back. He can also play somewhat as a left-back. And he's okay as a defensive midfielder. But um, I don't know how much we'll see of this guy. It's only going to be like a 2-3 three, three, three season save. So I don't think we'll see this guy very much. What we could do though, we could set a short term scouting focus and ask them to look for defensive players, like a defensive midfielder. So Liverpool versus Arsenal, FA Cup third round. I won't be showing this live, I'll just show you the goals, but the team's going to be a bit different as well. Okay, so quite a few changes for the Arsenal Cup game. Carrius is in goal, uh, Ox is back, Firmino, Salah, Milner, Robertson, Alexander Arnold. I think there's almost every player changed apart from maybe two or three. So that's the team. Um, if there's any goals, I'll be sure to show you them. Oh, it's 1-0 Firmino. We've scored from a set piece. 22 minutes in, 22nd minute. Robertson's corner, Firmino's header. I think that's the first time in ages that we scored from a set piece. Firmino with the header. Ah, John Matip has been injured. That's not good. Going to have to be a change here. Arsenal equalised, 34th minute. It was uh, Mesut Ozil who scored it. It took the free kick. It was headed away by Henderson. Came back to Ozil. And he cut in onto his left foot. And a, a good finish and 1-1. One, one. Oh, it's 2-1 Arsenal. It was uh, Sanchez with the goal. The player that we had a look at earlier because his contract was running down. And he scored against us. And they got Christian Bielik playing what looks at right wing back. And then it was Iwobi with the cross. And then Sanchez with the head. Alexander-Arnold just didn't get up there. And we trail at home. This isn't going well. But this happened against West Ham when we came back. Oh, it's 2-2! Firmino gets a goal again, 71st minute. Uh, Danny Ings is on for Bellotti. Coutinho, I think, got the assist, 2-2. Two -two. So there's Roberto Firmino. He played it to uh, Philippe Coutinho, and it was, you know, a very large 1-2. And then back at the post, and the left foot, check beaten. And, well, he should have done better. Uh, full time, Liverpool 2, Arsenal 2, meaning that we will have to play a replay at the Emirates. That's not ideal. Another fixture added to a busy, busy schedule but uh, we did not lose we were behind we were 2-1 down 
Uh, but we came back with a draw. I'm going to say you were unlucky today. Matip looked to switch off. He was unlucky to get injured. Hopefully that's not serious. But uh, we have got to play a replay at the Emirates now. So it's made our job even harder at getting through in the FA Cup. And John Matip is out for five to six weeks with sprained le knee ligaments. That's not that good, really. Uh, we still have defensive options in Lover and Gomez and Nastasic. But Matip injured for a few weeks. It's not ideal. Rafa Benitez has been sacked by Newcastle. And Peter Beardsley has been unveiled as the new manager. That's the only thing I can say with Jordi Axon is Peter Beardsley. Markovic, that's another player that I do want to get rid of. Because he's not being played. Okay, so we drew against Arsenal. Let's have a look at the draw for round four and see who we will... <laughs> We're literally one of the first teams out. So if we beat Arsenal, we then have an away game against Spurs. That's not a fixed match, is it? Jesus Christ. We will go from Arsenal to Spurs. There's no way we're winning the FA Cup. There's no way. We're expected to get where? The final, apparently. Ball expectation, reach final. We've only got a third round tie against Arsenal. And if we get through that, a fourth round tie against Tottenham. Are you serious? Oh, now I'm seeing enough of Fasadio Mane. £40 million is the fee. Not enough. Mane wants an improved contract. You've got plenty of time remaining on your new deal. There we go, sorted. And he's also back in full training. So hopefully we'll have him against Chelsea. And this is the live con for this uh, video. So uh, I think after this, we will probably leave it. And then we've got three games now in between this and the second leg, including that FA Cup replay against Arsenal. And then we'll see if there's any more transfer dealings, I guess. So Joel Matip is injured for a few weeks. He picked up the injury in the FA Cup against Arsenal. So Dayan Lovren will come in. Joe Gomez will come up to the bench. I'm going to go Johnny at right back. I'm going to leave Milner and Henderson in there. Uh, we're going to go with, uh, I think the front, front three is fine. We'll leave that as it is and Belotti up top's fine. Uh, we can get Lalana off. We can put Mane on the bench. Mignolet back in goal. Actually, no, Karius, because this is the cup. So Karius is going to stay in goal. That's going to do it, I think. Uh, Nastasic is a bit unhappy, though. So we're actually going to start Joe Gomez at centre-back. So Gomez and Lovren, the pairing today. So let's see if we can... Uh, you know, being be in a good position with the second leg coming up. It's away against Chelsea, this first leg. So if this ends up being a really heavy defeat, then it's going to be a huge issue come the second leg. So we'll see what happens. Chelsea versus Liverpool, first leg of the Carabao Cup semi-final. We just need to do a good job here. And then, you know, as long as we can get a win at Anfield, that's fine. So I'm hoping for, you know, a, you know, a draw here is okay. If we lose, it's not a big deal as long as it's not like a really big defeat. You know, a win would be fantastic. But they're coming forward here and Morata has a shot in the first two minutes. It's saved by Karius. And now Liverpool on the ball, Belotti. He's got players either side of him and oh, well, it was going out of play. I'm not sure what happened there. Marcos Alonso. Alvaro Morata's through on goal here and it's just over. But Chelsea with uh, early chances here. We haven't had a single shot. Another corner. Chelsea are dominating this game. And this one is headed away again by Belotti. And Fabregas dispossessed by Roberto Firmino. Here's Mohamed Salah. He's got two players to beat. And, you know, we know how quick Salah is. He's been forced out wide. Can he get across in there? He can. And Bellotti scores. 23rd minute of the game. And we have a goal. Away goals are used if scores are level after extra time. So it, it is important, but only if it goes to extra time. But we do have a 1-0 lead, which is hugely important. Salah with the pace. He was forced out wide, but it was a really good cross. And Bellotti with the finish. And we are leading 1-0. This is good. Right. Encourage. I mean, if we can get a big win at Stamford Bridge, then in theory, the Anfield leg should be easy pickings. But we I say, we've got plenty of time left in the game. There's still about an hour left. Half time, we lead 1-0, which is great. Doing well so far. Things are going well, but I know you're capable of better. I'm going to speak to everybody and just encourage them. There we go. All right. So tactic wise, we're not having much of the ball, but we are doing well. I'm just going to change Belotti to a support complete forwards. Uh, and uh, we're going to put Ox on attack. Uh, Johnny's going to stay back a bit, I think, and go... Well, he's going to stay on support, I think. Robertson's on wing-back defend. We're doing well so far. We're on counter-flexible. We're just going to change it up to more fluid shape. That's going to be it. If we can double our leads and hold it there, 
then that's really good. 2 0 away from home is a great first leg result. But I say Chelsea could. They started off really strongly and had lots of it, lots of chances. So, you know, they could hit us at any minute. Milner to Firmino. Again, looking for Belotti, but Belotti just either not, either not far forward enough or the balls are too far for him. Maybe, I don't know, he's trying to stay on side. I don't know. It's hard to see. Morata with a shot and it hits the bar. Chelsea with another chance. Hens is not out of play though. And uh, it's a corner to Chelsea. Great tackle there by, I think it was Firmino on Kante. Chelsea with a corner. This is a great start to the half. And, uh, oh, I love Renato. Went in on Cahill there. No penalty given. I mean, the, the tackles are crunching tackles. Not fouls, but this is a physical game. Here's Firmino. Oxlade-Chamberlain. Come on, make it a good cross. It's held on to by uh, Courtois. 55 minutes played. Ox and Firmino not doing well. Mane is available, as is Coutinho. We've got options. Uh, I'm going to ask the guys to uh, get creative. We're still on counter-attacking. But Chelsea are having a... Not doing well out there at Chelsea. They've had chances and they haven't taken them. Morata is on a 5.8. Kennedy and Bakayoko are on. We're going to make a change ourselves. We're going to put Firmino off. Uh, we're going to bring on Philippe Coutinho. Uh, it's going to change Ox back to support. We might have to just hold on to this 1-0 lead here. Lovren to James Milner. Henderson to Salah. Salah back to the captain. And Oxlade Chamberlain. That's got to be a penalty. It is a penalty. That might be a card for Alonso as well. I think it's going to be a. Might be a Regino. There's a case of him being the last man. But we have a penalty. Bellotti's going to take it. What's happening with Marcos Alonso? It's just a yellow card. May have got away with that then. It could have been a red. But uh, we have a penalty to potentially double our lead. Bellotti has scored th either three or four penalties so far this season. So. He's taking them until he misses. Andre Bellotti to double our lead. And it's in. 2-0 away from home. We are looking good in this semi-final tie. 15th goal of the season now for Bellotti. It was a slow start. But he has really proven his worth now. And it's £47 million well spent. Really good stuff. The counter-attacking has worked. It's absolutely worked. So this is going extremely well. 72 minutes. We've got a corner here. Robertson is going to take it. I mean, 3-0 will be a dream come true. It's with Milner, Henderson, Salah to Oxlade-Chamberlain. And it's saved by Courtois. Okay, Henderson is going to come off. We're going to bring on Emre Chan as that defensive midfielder. Just play him as uh, as the regista. Just try and sit a bit more defensive, I guess. Less than 15 minutes left in the game. Chelsea have not been at the races today. They've been really poor. And in the last 10 minutes of the game now, it looks like we are going to get a 2-0 lead and bring it back to Anfield. Really good stuff. Just going to make my last change. Just bring on the stars. It's just hold on to this. Keep the clean sheet. But things are going spectacularly well this season. I can't believe how well we're doing. We're just going to sit defensive for the last few minutes. Hold on to this. And it's going to be a 2-0 win at Stamford Bridge. Four minutes of injury time left. If we can see those out, then this would be a fantastic win in the first leg. And there it is, 2-0. Really good work. Really happy with that. I mean, Chelsea had more of the ball. They had chances. Didn't take them. Morata missed some big chances. A 5.6. It's not good. And in the other semi-final, I believe it's Burnley and Southampton. Burnley knocked out Man City on penalties. Southampton, I think, might have beaten Arsenal. Let's have a look and see. Uh, Southampton knocked out Man United 3-1. Chelsea beat Spurs, we beat Leicester, of course. Burnley beat Man City on penalties. So there's been some big cup sets, if you like. So uh, next time we will play the second leg of that cup semi-final. I guess we could play like someone like Spurs as well. Spurs are in ninth place, though. Um, Newcastle in the league. We'll definitely play that semi-final or second leg. We've done most of the work. We just need to make sure that we stay on it when we get to Anfield because they could easily come here and beat us 3-0. Hopefully that doesn't happen, but we need to make sure it doesn't. So... That's going to be a big game, and well, after that, there'll be a hopefully a cup final very soon, and maybe a first piece of silverware, we'll see. But for now, I will see you very soon. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like, leave comments, and if you want to see videos as I'm when they're up on YouTube, do hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you next episode, where hopefully we can finish the job against Chelsea and make it to a cup final. Thank you for watching, and I will see you soon. Goodbye.